This video does not replace the operating instructions in any way. Before using the machine, the operating instructions must be read in full and the stipulated safety regulations observed. The manufacturer assumes no liability for damage caused by non-observance of the operating instructions. Hello, my name is Michael Guvo. Today, I will be showing you how to insert a net or binding film roll into the single and dual binding unit of a G1 round baler. The film binding unit consists of the binding storage, the net or film uptake, with binding A for single binding unit, and binding A and B for a dual binding unit. Other components include the bundle unit, the spreading roller, the film insertion openings of binding A and B, and the cutting knife. In order to make it easier to insert the binding material, lift the cutting knife up and open the bundle unit. Turn off the tractor to avoid injuries. First, the binding storage is folded downwards using the locking mechanism. Now open the cover and loosen the lock of the clamping device. Then open the holder and align the stops so that the roll is in the middle. The pictograph in the cover shows you the possible variants for how you can insert the net or binding film into the machine. The single binding unit is structurally identical to binding B in the dual binding unit. This means that net or film is inserted in the same way. Ensure that the roll will unroll in the correct direction before placing it on the platform of the G1. You can use the lifting device to lift the roll into the binding storage. The swivel device on the binding storage can now be used to place the film roll into the open holder. Follow the sequence shown in the pictograph to insert the film. Put the shaped pigtail around 10 centimeters or 4 inches into the opening and lock the clamping device. Roll the film backwards in order to tension it. Then lift the roll into the holder. Close the holder. In the setup menu of the ISOBUS control system, select Binding Film. When using NET, do not forget to switch over the program. This will automatically turn the bundle unit off, which is not needed. The first option that I would like to show you is inserting two binding films into opening B. Insert the film into binding B up to the bundle unit. Then insert another binding film into binding A. When doing so, pay attention to the pathway of the film.
from the bundle unit, both films are introduced into opening B together. Important: The binding film is always inserted through the bundle unit. Now select Film in the Setup menu for binding A and B. In addition, Dual Binding Unit must be set as the binding type. The binding time decreases if there are more than four layers. Another option that I would like to show you now is inserting two binding films, each into its own opening. This means that you can make use of the benefits of both the dual binding unit and the single binding unit. The film for binding B is inserted as shown before. Another film is placed into binding A and inserted into its own opening. Now set film for binding A and B. Afterwards, select one of the two binding types. In single binding unit, only one film is used for binding. If this role is empty, the machine switches to the other binding automatically. In dual binding unit, both films are used at the same time. The third option is to load the dual binding unit with net and film. This has the advantage that you can switch the material at the touch of a button, depending on the customer's wishes. The film that has already been inserted is in binding B. Now insert the net step-by-step -step into binding A. Important: If net is used in binding A, this must not be inserted through the bundle unit. Select Binding A, Net, and Binding B, Film, in the program. This means that it is possible to choose between the two binding materials. In the last option, the dual binding unit is loaded with two rolls of net. To do so, net is first inserted into binding B. This is done in the same way as for the binding film. As shown in the previous section, net is also inserted into binding A. Note, do not forget to lock the clamping device. Finally, NET is selected for binding A and B in the program. Here you can once again choose between the single binding unit and dual binding unit options. 
The options shown mean that you are optimally prepared for all types of work. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Mihi.